researchers have known it for years. Cancerous tumors don't like extreme temperatures. Now they're turning the premise into practice by putting the heat on tumors. Heat can kill cancer cells when it's given in combination with radiation and even chemotherapy, it's more effective. Using a technique called hyperthermia, doctors are heating superficial tumors prior to delivering radiation. This system is approved to treat reoccurrent cancers, including breast and basal or squamous cell skin cancers. Because of the previous radiation, you know, we're, we're somewhat limited in the amount of radiation we could give again. So this would be a particular use in those patients. The technology allows doctors to control and deliver heat directly to the affected area. A liquid-filled bladder is placed against the skin. How does it feel for the patient? That's what I was trying to get So, so it, it feels it's almost the temperature of a hot tub. Typically, we try to get the temperature to about 108 degrees, and we want it in contact with the tumor from anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Hyperthermia makes the body more sensitive to radiation, so it can be administered at low doses and still be effective. Within an hour after getting the heat application, the patient undergoes radiation. What it does is that it makes the radiation more effective by increasing the blood flow to the tumor. You have more oxygen there, and that oxygen interacts with the radiation and creates free radicals, and free radicals actually attach to the DNA of the cancer cells and, and break the DNA in half. And by doing that, cancer cells can divide, they can grow, and they die. Hyperthermia is a hot topic in cancer treatment. While not curative, it's giving patients with limited options a new way to keep their disease in check. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.